important. In the U.S. alone, genetically modified canola, corn, cotton, and soybeans, which were non-existent in the 1980s, were grown on 3.7 million acres in 1996. That jumped to 100 million acres in 2003. In 1998, Mexico banned the planting of genetically engineered corn to protect their agricultural heritage. In Mexico, there are literally hundreds of varieties of corn. Some of them are adapted to very wet uh, climates, some to very dry climates. Some of them are resistant to certain specific pests. Some of them have different tastes. Some of them are good for doing popcorn that was invented by the Aztecs. Some varieties are good to make tortillas or to feed the cattle. There is a whole bunch of kinds of corn in Mexico. Around 7,000 years ago, the people who lived in Mexico started domesticating maize, or corn, and an intimate relationship developed between humans and the plant. Corn is not only their food supply, it is also part of the culture. In the mountains in Jalisco, the farmers plant on purpose their corn fields near areas where the wild corn grows, the teosintle. Uh, and the reason why they do that is because they know perfectly well that they get resistance to pests uh, transferred from the wild strain into the cultivated strain. We don't know which parts of that diversity are going to be useful, and we need to preserve them all. Now, most of the diversity for crops is contained within so-called land races. These are the uh, plants that small farmers, generally in very diverse areas of the world, maintain in very small plots with selection for the very specific conditions of the plots, which might be certain altitude, frost or drought, or very specific conditions. That is really the basis of diversity that we are continuously tapping from to maintain our commercial production of crops, to feed the world, basically. I think there are three or four applications for patents for tortillas. Like, like, like it was a new thing, like somebody had invented tortillas, which of course have existed for 3,000, 5,000 years, we don't know. First of all, some people will debate, and I think it is a worthwhile debate, if life should be patented at all. And that's a discussion that humanity as a species hasn't done properly. And it is a sort of pending homework, something we need to do. By the year 2003, the U.S. had sold millions of pounds of GMO corn to Mexico for less than the cost of growing it. Around the world, resistance was mounting against the U.S. exported genetically modified crops. The loss of corn exports to Europe is worth around $300 million a year. <laughs> 